In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best defense in Madden. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never been to any of my videos before, I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos, post them on YouTube, try to help people get better at offense and defense. And so if you're interested in getting better on both sides of the ball, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Now, the data shows that only 40% of the people that actually watch my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. So if you would help me narrow that gap a little bit by go ahead and clicking subscribe, it's completely free to subscribe subscribe and it helps out the channel a ton and if you don't enjoy the content you can always unsubscribe at a later time all right guys so one of the things that i wanted to talk about with you today is the best defense in madden i've been getting a lot of questions about you know different defensive tips what 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 do you do on defense how do you stop some of these great passing schemes and i'm going to show you how to do it today i'm going to give you a three play mini scheme from the nickel 55 wide and here's the deal this is a sample to my defensive ebook. So if you haven't picked up the defensive ebook yet, it's based out of the 46 playbook. And the reason I'll show you why I use the 46 playbook uh, primarily in this video, show you a couple different things. We'll talk kind of through some of the theory behind it. Um, but if you want to get the full ebook, this has helped people win weekend league games. This has helped people win CFMs. One of the guys that bought the ebook just won a CFM for $100 cash. Um, one of the guys that uh, picked up this ebook is actually in the top 100. Um, another guy has been going consistently 23 and 2, 24 and 1 in weekend league. And so, what I mean by all that is to say this if you are struggling at stopping people on the defensive side of the ball, I really do recommend this defensive ebook for you. I think it's the best defense in the entire game, and I highly encourage you to pick it up. The link is in the description. If you have any questions about the defensive ebook, just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. And if you have ever have any issues with the defense whatsoever, shoot me a text. I'll help you out. We'll work through it together, and we'll get better together. Okay, so here's the defense. Basically what you're going to do, is you're going to go into your coaching adjustments and you're going to turn auto flip on you're going to have your auto alignment to default ball and air defense is going to be on play receiver and the reason that you do this is basically if you get beat deep you don't want to click on because when you click if you get beat over the top and you click onto the corner you're actually going to lose speed so by leaving it on uh, play receiver what's going to happen is the computer is going to basically naturally just swat the ball for you or basically try to knock the ball out uh, in a two-man animation Option defense is always on conservative. The reason we do that is because we're going to focus on the quarterback uh, and basically allow our user to shut down the, the running back. Strip ball, I like to put this on balance, tackling's on balance. I actually do play some with this on conservative, but all in all, I keep it on balance. And then here's the kicker right here. Uh, flats are on default, curl flats are on 20, and hook zones, I keep these on default, but to be honest with you, I'm probably going to start keep. I'm probably going to just keep them on five yards. Um, just because I think they play a little bit better uh, when they're on five yards. Now, um, the base for the scheme is the nickel three through five. And in the ebook, we actually talk about how to make the nickel three through five an absolute lockdown defense, not just against the pass, but also against the run. We show you how to stop every single run in the entire game um, from these two formations. We also, we also touch on three, four bear, um, all of the four, six formations. We have a two, hour and a half video series on the big nickel over G. Um, as well as a dollar and dime defenses. So we, we basically break down the entire playbook. That's one of the things I want you to know, uh, including a phenomenal, phenomenal pressure from 3-4 Bear. But the crux of the scheme, the base of the scheme, the, the real value, in my opinion, and the best part of the scheme is this nickel 3 3 five, uh, defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our two best pass rushers on the outside. So for the Packers, that's going to be Zadarius Smith, and some would say Rashawn Gary. I actually probably would say Rashawn Gary. Some people like Preston Smith. We're going to go with Rashawn Gary because he has the really, he's like 86 speed, which really, really fast. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put uh, Kader Holman at the slot corner you see right there. And then on the outside, we're going to put Perry Nickerson. And then at the, at the safety positions, we're actually going to put the two corners, uh, Josh Jackson and Kevin King. That allows us to put Will Redmond down here. Darnell Savage is in the middle linebacker position because he's going to be our user. And Adrian Amos is on this side. So now we have, in my opinion, what is the best personnel in Madden 21, which is to have one defensive lineman, two linebackers, th um, three safeties, and then five corners. I really think that this is the best personnel that you can get in the entire game. So for our audibles, all we're gonna do is we're going to replace cover three buzz with Mike Blitz three, and that's it. That's the audibles. Really, 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 really simple. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out in nickel three through five, and the audibles we're gonna to wanna to set for this uh, defense is we're going to want to set the, um, the cover three cloud 
is our audible and our base play is going to be cover four drop okay so we're going to be able to play some cover four some cover three some cover two some man coverage all of those different coverages to be able to stop the different things that people are going to do from a passing perspective but what i want to show you specifically today is a little blitzing scheme um, that you can use out of this specifically to stop passing attacks trip set in bunch all of those different types of attacks Remember, one of the key things that you want to make sure that you do is you have auto flip on. Okay, that's really, really important for the passing component of this defense because you want to be able to really box and lock down people. Okay, so nickel 335, and we're going to basically, um, I'm not going to show you any of the nickel 335 stuff. Um, that stuff's in the ebook, you can pick that up. Um, the 335 wide stuff is too, but I really just want to focus on the 335 wide. I've been getting a lot of questions about this defense. So, Basically, I've got a couple of different pressures. There's, there's pretty much two or three different pressures that you could run. So we're going to audible to nickel 335 wide every single time. And in my opinion, it's always best to audible to either Mike Blitz 3 or Mike Blitz. So whether you want to play man or zone. If you want to play zone, I'd recommend Mike Blitz 3. If you want to play man, I'd recommend Mike Blitz O. Oh. You can audible to these other two coverages right here. But they're kind of specific scenarios that you would want to run, you know, just based on different tendencies that you might get. Okay, so we're going to show you Mike Blitz 3. And you notice that because we have auto flip on, the cover 3 side is going to be on the trip side of the field. Now that's how we want it. That's exactly what we want. And so all I'm going to do right here is I'm going to press coverage. And then what we want to do is we want to shift our defensive line um, to the side of the running back. So we're going to shift our defensive line left. And we're going to basically hover right in this little pocket right here okay now from that window we can do a couple of different things the first thing that we can do is we can crash our line to the running back side so crash our line to the left and put our user on a um, put our user on a zone and basically we're going to shade coverage down so we're going to have hard flats on both sides we still have cover three coverage over the top and basically what we're going to do is if the running back goes out on a route we're going to rush through the A-gap. If the running back does not go out on a route, if he stays in the block, then we're just going to lurk with our user. We're not going to try to come in. This is a simple user rush, but you'll see right here, you're either going to get pressure right up the A-gap or you're going to get pressure um, or you're going to get pressure right from the edge. And depending on the depending on the shift, depending on a lot of different things that, that could happen, um, but again, I like to stand kind of right in here. I think this works the best. But as you can see right here, that's what we're looking at right there, just coming straight through with our user. And again, you can experiment with the different crashes, okay? It's the fastest blitz in the game, and here's the real trick that I found with this, this, with this blitz. A lot of times people will tell you that you want to put your user on a blitz, okay? You want to put him on a blitz. The reason why is because it's going to give you more control. That's true of the passing game, and so the inverse is kind of true of the blitzing game. So if you want to be in coverage, I would put your user on a blitz, and he's going to get faster animations. However, if you want a blitz, I would recommend putting him on a purple zone. I find that purple zones get the best animations, at least in my opinion. And so what's going to happen is you're going to be able to just run right through. And if they pick you up, they pick you up. Now, typically the reason they're going to pick you up, honestly, and I didn't do a good job right there. And it's kind of tricky to do that. Um, it's kind of tricky to do it in practice mode. But basically the reason that they would pick you up with this defense is you're not standing you know, far enough backed off. But that's really what you want to see right there. You're just coming straight through every time. This is a six-man blitz. Now, be aware. If they block their running back, okay, so let's say they block their running back. Just be aware and understand that, again, it's a six-man blitz. So if they block their running back, chances are you're going to get picked up by the running back. Chances are, okay? Now, if they're under center, it's going to be a lot harder for the running back to pick you up. So that's something that you want to be aware of. But this is a really, really good blitz to mix in in key situations. Um, it, the pressure comes in super fast. I can't stress to you how important it is that you turbo with that purple zone. You'll find that if you try to blitz him with like a blitz angle, like if you put your user on a blitz, number one, the blitz is not going to come in as consistent. And number two, um, it's not going to... Um, you know, it's not it's not going to be super fast when he's on a zone. It's super super fast. I don't know why I can't really explain it to you. I can just tell you that it's super flat fast. So let's say that you're playing somebody in the bunch and they like to flip their play, right? Once you've audible, they like to flip their play. Well, you flip your play too. It's that simple. Um, you're going to crash your line to the right here once again, or I'm sorry, crash your line out and shift them to the right. And now the same thing is true on the other side. As you can see, we're coming right through the a gap. So this, uh, this defense gives you a lot of an ability to adjust to your opponent. 
The next blitz that I like to do is a simple five-man pressure, and really what it is um, is we're just going to crash out here, and this time, instead of come through the A-gap, all we're going to do is we're going to come in, and then we're just going to lurk back out in the middle. Okay, and you're going to see you're going to get instant pressure off the edge. The beauty of this defense is, I think, in the simplicity of it, the fact that you can literally shift your line and crash them out and have instant pressure at your quarterback um, is really, really effective. Now, that blitz won't come in every single time. And, in fact, one of the things that I want to do, if I want to just run the simple edge pressure from Mike Blitz 3, one of the things that I like to do is I like to just shift my line. Um, now, that's not always great for the user rush. You'll notice, um, like, if I try to do the user rush right here, you'll see... If I try to come in here, I can't come in. They're not going to let me because the gap's not opened up. So that's just something to be aware of. But, you know, if you if you want to, and the key with the Mike Blitz 3 is just to come down enough so that they kind of take you. Uh, if they don't take you, that's, you know, it is what it is. But, but what I would recommend doing uh, on this is when you shift them, just crash them to the side that you've shifted to or the side that you want to come in and... You know, if they don't, if the pressure doesn't come in on this, it's it's primarily probably because um, they've they've either done some type of adjustment to pick it up, or you're just not standing. You know, kind of backed backed off just enough here. You know, just kind of like basically, essentially, you're trying to draw attention from the guard. But to be quite honest with you, if I was going to run the five man pressure, I think it's a significantly more uh, consistent to do something like this right here. Um, and you see there you get that instant pressure off the right edge where and, and the only adjustment that I'm doing is instead of shifting them to the running back side what I'm doing is I'm shifting them out okay so I'm, sh I'm shifting the line out I'm crashing the line out and then I'm coming down here with my user and basically just coming taking one step forward and then going back and you see that you get the instant edge pressure uh, when you do something like that so that's something else that you have to have to kind of consider and again you can bluff the blitz um, really really well from this like for example, if I stood like right here, you know, that might be a little bit better for the edge pressure. Different places of standing will help with the pressure, and we break all of that down in the ebook for you. Okay, so the next thing that you want to be aware of how to do, and this is kind of the more important piece of the of the video, is the coverage defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically um, go ahead and we're going to set some coverage. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to auto one of Mike Blitz 3, and there's two ways to do this. The first way to do it is to do a simple cloud coverage. Now, this is a coverage that you're going to go to um, if you just truly like don't want to get burned over the middle of the field. All we're going to do is we're going to shift our line again and make it look just like the blitz. But instead of sitting the blitz now, we're just going to hit right on the D-pad, flick the right stick up. You see it's going to put both of my outside guys in zones. Now, these are five-yard zones, once again, remember. So they're going to really jump the short stuff over the middle of the field. So now all i got to do is get back on this deep stuff. Now, the one thing you will notice is both of the flats are wide open. So if they threw the flat route, the, 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 then the, the offense would be able to get an easy gain up the field. So this is more of a middle coverage if you want to stop something over the middle. The coverage that I recommend most out of this is essentially um, what's called what I believe is called box coverage. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to um, essentially um, take both – take your linebacker um, – I apologize. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to shade coverage down. Okay, so you're going to shade coverage down right here. And then what I'm going to do is on the left side, I'm going to turn that into a cover two concept. So I'm going to have cloud flat, and I'm going to have a, um, a deep half. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my linebacker, and I might put him on a hard flat, or if I'm worried about a crossing route, I could put him on a curl flat zone. So either soft squat to that outside corner or a hard flat in that, in that scenario. And what this is going to do is basically what you're going to do is you're going to run this cover three concept on the wide side. So you see I've got a vert hook and I've got a hard flat on that wide side of the field, right, that right side. And then on the left side of the field, what I have is I've created um, a hard flat, okay, or a cloud flat for that matter, right, a cloud flat. And then if, they, if I'm worried about a crossing run, I can put a hard flat out there or I can put a purple zone out there. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of dependent upon what they're what they're doing right what i like most honestly is a hard flat and a curl flat and again you want to do that to the short side of the field so to the wide side of the field you're running that coverage on the right side right there and to the short side of the field you're running this coverage right here the reason you're running that coverage to the wide side of the field is let's say that they run a uh like a like a corner route like corner strike 
what you'll notice is if I try to throw this corner strike against that outside third, you see the outside third is going to pick it off. And the beauty of this is most cover three bombs don't work if the safety is on that side. So a lot of the cover three bombs from Bunch won't work from this because we have auto flip on. That's why it's really, really important to have auto flip on. Okay, so literally all you're going to do to set this up, you're going to shift your D line over to look exactly the same as the as the rush. You're going to shade coverage down and then from there you're going to basically adjust. So you're going to put your linebacker on the right side in a vert hook. And if you wanted to, you could put this corner on the right in a deep half, and you could put the linebacker in a in a curl flat. That's also an option for you running this, this defense, okay? And you could run it like this, and you can see basically we're going to have Mabel coverage over the middle, and we're just going to get sheds. So you're going to find that those two-man sheds are really, really good, especially if you leave your user uh, blitzing at the defense. One last setup here from a coverage perspective. Again, we're going to get that same look that we've been showing. And again, if this was flipped, let's say this was flipped, we would just flip our play and we would go like this right here. That's all. That's literally it. Okay. So let's say you're facing something like this, right? And you want to be able to basically stop it. Okay. One of the other setups I really like to do is to take the linebacker and put him in a hard flat and then take that slot corner and put him in a vert hook. Okay. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take another uh, hard flat here to that linebacker. We're going to deep half that outside corner. And we're just going to play the same kind of Mabel coverage right here. You're going to find this is one of the hardest defenses to beat in Madden 21. I really believe in it. I think it's really, really good. I think you should try it out. So this has been a little bit of a sample to what we talk about in the ebook. Now, this is a very abbreviated version. It's a very basic version. In the ebook, we go into in-depth um, scenarios. We show you game film. We talk about why we're doing what we're doing. We show you all the different setups that you can do, all the different coverages that you can run to be able to lock down pretty much anything and everything that your opponent's going to do from a passing perspective and also from a running perspective. You see we didn't touch on the run game here. Um, this defense is pretty decent against the run, but it's not the best. There's some other things that you need to do to it to make it really, really stout against the run. So if you want to get that defensive ebook right now it's on sale go ahead and pick it up the link is in the description of this video if you have any questions at all or if you have any issues with the ebook just shoot me a text message my number is 812-216-3644 and if you'd like a little bit more of an extended sample uh, from the ebook i have a full big nickel over g defensive breakdown in my text membership which is completely free to sign up for literally all you have to do is shoot me a text and let me know you'd like to receive the videos my number is 812-216-3644 so shoot me a text i'll shoot you a playlist um, that has the big nickel over g defensive guy or defensive uh, breakdown in it and also has some other stuff as well so in my opinion this is the best defensive matter right now it's really 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 good it's really it's borderline um it's borderline overpowered against under center offenses because of that user rush and how effective and how powerful that really is. So just wanted to share that with you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you got a lot out of this. A lot of you guys have been asking for it. And again, I just want to make sure you know I did break this down in my ebook. So if you haven't picked it up yet, it really would mean the world to me. And it does help support the channel a ton. It helps me to continue uh, to do what I do here. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the love and support and encouragement that you guys have been to me. And I hope that this guide uh, really does help you. I think it's helped a lot of people so far. And I believe it's going to continue to help a lot of people take their next step and get better at Madden 21. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys later.